everyone i hope you enjoyed the previous video that we saw about assets now we move on to its counterpart that is the basis no assets without basis and no basis without assets now what are these basis basis if you want to define you can still continue with your lower class definitions they are compounds okay which react with assets to give salt and water this definition stands good for basis even till date okay now these bases again we need to classify so we move on to the classification of bases what are bases some examples when we think of we can classify them based on their composition they are oxides of metals and hydroxides of metals both are bases and in when you come to the hydroxides of metals you could also add one more hydroxide which is not a metal but it's a weak base that is ammonium hydroxide this also is a base so hydroxides of metals and ammonium hydroxide for example oxides of metals sodium oxide it's a base magnesium oxide oxygen and a metal calcium oxide these are all bases oxides of metals when you come to hydroxides sodium hydroxide magnesium hydroxide why do we write two here because magnesium is divalent and hydroxyl ion is monovalent so when you cross cross you get two here ammonium hydroxide nh4oh which is a weak base all right so this is based on composition the next one we can base on solubility some are soluble some are not soluble very few are soluble so some bases are soluble some are insoluble soluble bases are also called alkalies the other name for soluble bases are alkalies example there are very few that you need to learn sodium hydroxide potassium hydroxide calcium hydroxide and ammonium hydroxide if you remember these four these are called alkalies insoluble all other bases so all other bases are insoluble sometimes you would see when you have digestion problem you will see digene gel gelucil all that now when you take this digene gel it always if you read through the uh, thing it does not say a syrup but it says a suspension and there will always be an instruction saying shake well before you use why because that magnesium that's present in that is insoluble so it would settle down then you will be drinking only water on the top but you will not be taking the actual chemical that will neutralize your acidity okay so these come under the insoluble bases so that's the next classification based on solubility the third one is based on strength so based on strength we can classify as strong and weak just similar to acids strong will completely dissociate complete dissociation this is partial dissociation ok 
okay this would go into ions and here we would have into molecules and ions okay so example if we take NaOH it dissociates into Na plus and OH minus ammonium hydroxide which is a weak base would always be present as ammonium ions and hydroxyl ions along with that you would also see molecules of ammonium hydroxide there okay then we move on to the next classification based on concentration this again is of two types concentrated and dilute as we saw earlier the same thing stands good for this more of base and less amount of water so that means high percentage of base will be there in concentrated here it would be less percentage of base in other words this will be more than one mole of base in one liter of water this would be less than one mole per liter so this is the difference based on concentration the last one is based on acidity of the base what do you mean by the word acidity just like we defined basicity for the acid acidity is the number of replaceable hydroxyl ions in one molecule of a base okay so how many hydroxyl ions are there that decides the acidity of the base for example if we take sodium hydroxide here there is only one replaceable hydroxyl ion okay if we take magnesium hydroxide there are two hydroxyl ions if we take aluminium hydroxide then there are three hydroxyl ions so based on that we classify them or we name them as mono acidic bases these are called diacidic base and this is triacidic base okay this is the first difference the second difference is dissociates in one step but the beauty of the bases is this also dissociates in one step and this too dissociates in one step so that brings us to the differences of classification to a close based on the five different principles now we move on to the preparation of bases which is very short so when we go to the preparation the first preparation method would be direct combination again when two compounds or elements combine together to give a new one see sometimes you take your sparklers or your crackers that you play during diwali that's made of magnesium now when it burns in air okay when you heat it to that temperature when you burn it 
it starts burning and it gives a white colored light and then it falls down it drops down as white colored solid now that is magnesium oxide so magnesium burns in air to give magnesium oxide this is direct combination the second method is we take metallic oxides okay when water is added to this this also can give us a base for example if we take sodium oxide when reacting with water why would this react this is an alkali anything to do with sodium oxide and hydroxide are soluble in water so they dissolve easily to give you sodium hydroxide same thing happens with potassium oxide this also reacts to give potassium hydroxide this is another method now moving to the third method you can have salt 1 plus an alkali which means soluble to give you salt 2 and 1 insoluble base this is the another method through which we can prepare a base for example we can just see one example here let us take iron sulfate this is salt 1 this reacts with an alkali say let us take sodium hydroxide what happens is this breaks into this and iron and sulfate break together and now you get salt 2 that would be sodium sulfate plus an insoluble base would be iron hydroxide okay to here now this is another base so this is one base this is another base so from one base you get an insoluble base through this is also another method of preparation now we move on to the properties of bases only the physical properties we are going to do so basically if you see our bathing soap is a base washing soap is a base bathing soap contains potassium hydroxide washing soap contains a lot of sodium hydroxide and by mistake if it goes into our mouth we know that it tastes bitter so that is the taste of the base okay so it's bitter to taste and it's also when it is highly concentrated it can be highly corrosive for example sodium hydroxide which is concentrated we call it as caustic soda caustic potash potassium hydroxide these are all highly corrosive the third important thing about this is that bases would turn red litmus blue when we introduce red litmus into a base it would turn blue okay so that is how we identify a base so if we take base in a test tube and we take red litmus paper and introduce this into the base now it has turned from the red color it has become blue okay so with this we are done with bases now we move on to a very interesting topic so wait and watch and keep watching the next one is going to be on indicators